Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the vlog. Uh, just got back from Norco, uh, picking up some welding stuff. I needed a new hose and regulator for the welder. Um, now that I've got that, I'm gonna go ahead and Teflon tape it and get it installed. Okay, new hose and regulator are on the welder. Um, now the plan is to start cutting these patch panels to size, um, get everything marked out on the bed here, and start cutting, getting it, you know, kind of fitted in there so I can get this thing down the road. Okay, so this is what I'm working with. It's really not all that bad. It's pretty wavy just from dents. Uh, it's kind of crunchy through here. It's got a bunch of dents down through all this. Um, but what Shane wanted to do was just put in a full piece of sheet metal in here and just kind of eliminate all this extra work and I'll show you that here right now. So here's the patch panel we're going to use on this side of the bed. Um, you know obviously I'm not going to go all the way up into the dent, it's not necessary. I am going to come up pretty high on here, uh, want to keep that body line good and not have to worry about the little swell right through here. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and get this cut down to the size I want, I'm gonna scribe it onto, onto the actual bedside and start cutting all that out. So, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a piece of tape and I'm gonna make a cut line on the panel to follow just to make things easy. Now that I've got the panel cut down to size uh, and kind of in place where I want it, I'm gonna go ahead and scribe a line with a marker so I know where I need to cut on the bed and just start working on it. As you can see, I've taken a Sharpie marker and scribed my cut line on the bed panel. So, I'm gonna go ahead and cut that out. So to make removing this whole piece really easy, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna cut here and here because this whole bottom well is spot welded in. So I'm just gonna cut along the top of the edge here and then I'll gauge where I wanna, you know, cut my inner fender or my inner wheel well. Um, which is actually what causes this to create a drain. But I generally leave, you know, the two corner pieces in so that I've got support for the panel, for the new panel. And, you know, there is still a great place for all that mud and water that gets trapped in here and causes this problem to go. All right, so what I scribed is now cut out. Kind of show you what I was talking about in this inner wheel well. You can see that, you know, there's just all kinds of dirt and mud and all that grime in here, which is actually the major culprit of why these rust out. So I've already started, but on this support here, what I'll do is I'll cut and I'll come back a little ways and then cut a big radius kind of out of this and then come back. So then I've still got a good place for the new panel to attach. So the inner structure is still all here but all that water, mud, dirt, and garbage can run out and I don't have to worry about this rotting out again. So, you know, it's gonna make life a lot easier in the long run, but uh, I gotta get some of these cuts kind of cleaned up and we'll test fit this panel. Okay, like I was saying before, I generally leave little tabs and I cut out that radius in there so that all that garbage can drop down in there. Obviously, I need to clean it up a little bit more, but. Uh, I was able to wedge those spot welds off with a screwdriver instead of having to cut them with a spot weld cutter. So that made things go a lot faster. Uh, now I can test the panel. Okay, I'm super happy with the fitment on this panel. Uh, I would be welding it right now if I uh, wasn't out of gas. So I guess I gotta run back to the uh, welding supply store, get a refill, get everything taken care of. Um, but you know, I think I'm at a, a good stopping point for today. I know this video was a little bit shorter, but I wanted to get this out to you guys. I appreciate you tuning in. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the subscribe button, like it, share it, comment, tell your friends, and we'll catch you next time.